Now we're going to talk about APM for serverless. Serverless is a paradigm for running applications in a way that you don't think about the underlying infrastructure. Instead of managing servers, containers, and scaling groups, you're writing code in a way that solves your customers' problems in a first-class way. This lets you focus on them versus on managing hardware. With someone else managing your infrastructure and the way your code runs, there's a new class of things to monitor. So instead of looking at your CPU utilization uh, and memory usage on your container, there's a new class of things that can happen in this world of serverless. So for example, when your code hasn't run in a while or you get a burst of new requests, you can hit cold starts where your application has added latency when new instances are started behind the scenes. Or increased requests to your application can result in throttles, timeouts, and if you're relying on a third-party API or database, those can add latency to your application. Here's an example of an e-commerce website built using microservices in a variety of languages. As a part of the checkout flow, we have the shopping cart application make a request to a Lambda function responsible for validating a coupon code. The metric on the left measures the maximum request latency of the coupon validation service, which we see is extremely slow. We'd probably want to set up a monitor on this metric so that we know when services are misbehaving. But this isn't the whole picture. When you're paged in the middle of the night for this metric spiking, you want to know what's actually going on underneath the hood. So that's where APM and tracing comes into question. To actually debug this, we need to see where the function is spending time. And Datadog APM for serverless lets us do this. We can see a particularly slow span on the bottom of the trace that involves loading an in-memory coupon database, which is probably slowing down our application. In summary, metrics tell us the what, while traces tell us the why. Looking at individual traces is useful for debugging performance issues after isolating them. But what happens when we have a lot of these traces? Trace search and analytics gives us a bird's eye view of performance across all of our applications. Here's an example where we're looking at cold starts over time broken down by function across our entire infrastructure. And when we see something interesting, we can drill down into individual traces with just a few clicks. There's no new query language to learn and no difference between your serverless infrastructure and your applications running on hosts and containers. But tracing in serverless is fundamentally different. We don't have a place to run an agent and we don't control the underlying infrastructure. But it's important that our code and our instrumentation doesn't need to change as we abstract away applications into serverless functions. And you certainly shouldn't feel or pay for worse performance just because you're using serverless. In serverless, every millisecond counts, both for your users and for your bottom line. Your build every time your code runs and every synchronous operation leaves the end user waiting. So we're proud to announce that we're bringing native Datadog APM to Lambda, fully rethought for serverless. When building this, we always chose a path that minimized overhead to customer code. The large customers that we've been working with emphasize this as a real pain point for their serverless-first architectures, and we've been working with them over the last several months to deliver an experience that we're proud of. And this means that Datadog stays out of the way of your applications while giving you the same insights and traces that you expect. This works with the native Datadog client libraries like ddtrace.js to collect vital performance information for your serverless functions. And to make this completely asynchronous, we emit traces as logs, which is a 100% asynchronous operation in Lambda. Then our Datadog forwarder identifies logs that contain trace data and sends them directly to Datadog APM. This is also how we send custom metrics out of Lambda without added latency. Today, we're excited to announce a beta available for Node with all other Lambda runtimes coming soon. Thank you.